MKX Trailer Breakdown. Talk to you guys soon. All right, you guys. So, wow, this is Mortal Kombat 10. Now, um, I'm a little torn uh, in certain aspects, but uh, there's kind of a lot within this trailer. First of all, you have Scorpion and Sub Zero having unique dialogue. Each character is going to have unique dialogue, and I fucking love that. I think Scorpion and Sub Zero look absolutely amazing. They sound absolutely amazing. They fight absolutely amazing. And of course, all the detail pretty much has to go, or a majority of the detail has to go into your, you know, two poster boys. And then we have these two new characters, uh, Devora, I think that's her name, and uh, Ferratora. Now, um, a lot of people have kind of been saying that this might be the third strike of Mortal Kombat, being uh, not that very many vets and a whole lot of uh, fucking, uh, what you call it, new characters. And at this point where Mortal Kombat is, I wouldn't be um, totally against it, you know what I mean? I think Mortal Kombat could use some new characters, but I still want some vets. And of course, Sub-Zero and Scorpion will always be in every single Mortal Kombat to ever come out. So that's no big deal. But man, I love the effects on these guys. I think they look, sound, and everything about them is awesome. And here's one of the interactable objects that's definitely within this game now, is um, uh, interactable environments. Which uh, I was kind of uh, a little, I was kind of a little, not worried, but I just don't want this game to incorporate too much of it, what Injustice did. Because then, once Injustice 2 comes out, how is it going to distinguish itself between Mortal Kombat and, um, and Injustice? Because Mortal Kombat 9, the combos there were very different of how to go about them than they were in Injustice. And I played the shit out of Injustice and I love it. And I can see Injustice style combos when I see this game. And there's that's a lot of what these combos are. And these interactable objects. Now, speaking on interactable objects, I don't think there's going to be any power slash gadget characters. You know what I mean? How different characters interact with different um, objects. I do think they will interact differently. But it's not going to be so drastic to where a character cannot use this. And only use these type of things as an offensive maneuver. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Shank Scorpion. That's fucking badass. Sub-Zero looks so tight and I love his fighting stance uh, anyways and see you can see uh, you can use the interactable objects to get away and then just like from the original trailer Scorpion rips this shit off and boom home run motherfucker I think that's really tight um, um, the the bar is back the meter is back and it go it goes in three segments and from what I've seen and heard it's uh, one for an enhanced move, two for an x-ray, and three for a breaker. So it's a little bit mixed now, and I think that's going to be kind of interesting. As well as the new implementation of a stamina meter, which you can run, and running, dashing, and certain combos use up your stamina. It's kind of going back to the MK3, so that means that you're going to have to manage... Uh, 
obviously your life your um your meter like your generic meter the to be able to use the enhanced uh, moves and whatnot and your own stamina gauge because who knows the combo might burn out mid uh in the middle of the uh, transition and you might be left wide open because you don't have enough stamina to complete the uh, to complete the combo i feel like that's kind of cool i feel like that's uh, that's interesting and uh, one thing that you didn't see in this trailer is that each character has three different kind of styles uh, i know sub-zero has like cryomancer something something else and scorpion has like inferno and other kinds of things so each character has three different styles and that make that drastically changes the way they play now that to me is extremely huge that's going to make the meta game and the mind games even 10 times more um intense than they already are but needless to say i'm i'm excited for mortal kombat 10 i'm a huge mortal kombat fan i always love enjoying uh, love enjoying i always love mortal kombat but you know the last the release i was kind of iffy about it it's something that wasn't to my fancy but i think this one might change it around a little bit so uh let me know what you guys think of the trailer and this breakdown and uh, i will talk to you guys soon my name is shermaine and i am out peace have a good day